Assalamu alaikum, I'm Sajet and you're watching my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to start a new course which is uh, about SQL, right? So, let's start. So, this is our first chapter and this is actually an introduction to uh, SQL. So some of you might already have some knowledge of SQL and may know the basics, some may not. So this is an introductory course and uh, I hope especially the students who are in college or university or even uh, I mean uh, people who work on uh, databases and web developers uh, who build web application and have databases connected with their applications so they uh, can take a lot of benefit from this uh, course and uh, uh, you will uh, I, uh, understand and learn uh, SQL in a lot of detail so let's start so what is this uh, first of all we need to see what is SQL so SQL is a standard language for accessing and manipulating databases so for example we have a, a, a database as you know database is a place where we store all of our, of our data I like huge amount of data or large data so these uh, uh, are actually uh, softwares uh, in which we store our data. So, but how to store that data and we uh, manipulate with uh, 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 with that data. So, I mean, adding something, deleting something. So there should be some standard way of doing that. So there is a language which is uh, called SQL or Structured Query Language. So this is used to, you can say, play with the database, you know, I mean, to do any operation on the data stored in databases, we use a special language and which is SQL. So SQL, as I just say, stands for Structured Query Language. SQL lets you access and manipulate databases. So as I just said, we have a database and uh, we write some uh, SQL query and then we can either add, delete or update or take some database uh, based on even certain conditions some data can be taken from this database or can be stored in database or updated, right? Uh, SQL as is said uh, is standard language so it became standard of like American National Standard Institute ANSI in 1986 and International Organization of Standardization ISO in 1987, right? Okay, so now we move forward. Right, what we have. Okay, what can SQL do? As we just say, SQL can execute queries against uh, databases sql can retrieve data from the database so what is query query is i mean you can say uh, sql uh, statement which uh, actually is used to take out some data or uh, send some data to database or delete or add or update right based on certain conditions as well so SQL can insert record in the database, update, delete records, create new database. Yeah, even if you have to create a new database, it can do that. Can create new tables, can store procedures, views, and also can set permissions on tables. Yeah, procedures and views, right? So for like you can control tables in the database, uh, completely control with the help of SQL. Even you can control the uh, permissions as well okay right so S SQL as we just said is standard uh, right but although like it's standard there are different versions of SQL language however to be compliant with the ANSI standards uh, all support at least major commands like select update delete insert where in a similar manner 
right so most of the sql database programs have their own proprietary uh, proprietary uh, extension as well in addition to sql standard but as we just said uh, major commands like you can say select update delete insert where they are common you know if everyone starts making their own extension and completely uh, change sql language then what's the purpose of standardization there so uh, common things will always remain standard this is what i believe okay using sql in your uh, database how you use in your sql in your uh, sorry uh, using sql in your website how you use that so you know what like to build a website that shows data from a database you will need an rdbms database program like ms access sql server or mysql so these are uh, are called rdbms uh, database programs which these are the softwares uh, which are used to store the data where you create databases in them and they which they have for example uh, tables where because uh, in our dbms we store the data in tables and we can add information in those tables or delete or update or take out so to uh, then first of all we need an rdbms a software to use a server side scripting language like php or asp so with the help of php and asp we will add or delete information from the database uh, uh, i mean in php actually connects with the database and creates a session with the database software program and to to retrieve some data or store some data php will use another language sql right because databases only understand sql language right so php or asp or even other uh, programming languages like you can use python or java or any uh, 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 thing else to connect with the database they all languages will interact with the rdbms using sql to use SQL to get the data you want, so as we just said in our server side uh, programming, we will use SQL to connect to uh, to, to uh, get the data from the database. And then for front end, as you know, to use HTML, CSS to uh, style the pages, right? So now let's look at uh, what is RDBMS. Uh, RDBMS. So as we just said, RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. RDMS is the basis of for uh, SQL and for all modern database systems like MySQL Server, IBM, Oracle, MySQL, and Microsoft Access. Yeah. Right, so the data in RDMAVS is stored in tables, a database objects called tables, right? So tables, I will just uh, shortly, I will show you what's a table. Table is actually uh, a table having columns, right, and uh, rows. And uh, the, each column has its own, you know, uh, unique, uh, it ha has its own uh, uh, name, right? And then each row we store the information in the table so this is how a uh, table works so a table is a collection of related data entries and it consists of columns and rows as we just said look at the table below okay so let's look at uh, this table example see here this uh, you will understand when we move forward the select as steric from customer so we have this sql command so we have one server uh, server uh, sorry database and when we run this command uh, sql query we can call it uh, what will happen see here we got 91 records out from the database and as i just said these are like tables so they have customer id one column then customer name customer contact name uh address city postal code and country and then each row you know each row uh, 
so these are columns from uh, top to bottom and then left uh, to right these are uh, what these are rows yeah this is one row this is row two and each row we are storing information all over customers records like first one is customer ID then we have this Anna this is a customer name Anna uh, contact name and then they have address constitution uh, two, 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 and Mexico and postal code and seat country is Mexico so like this we have uh, records from left uh, to right okay so this is how we are storing the information in our uh, database right okay so this here you can see we have retrieved 91 records from the database so using this command select everything ecstatic actually represents everything from customer so customer is that uh, uh, table in the database from it's a uh, select and from you can understand their meaning from these are normal english words but they are keywords in sql language so it means we want to select everything from the customer table so what's gonna have what's going on here uh okay so the, every table is broken up into smaller entities fields uh, called fields the fields in the customer table consist of you can you can say the uh, names of the columns on the top these these are the fields and uh, in our above uh, the customer table which we have seen consists of customer id customer name uh, and postal code country so a field is a column right in the table that is designated to maintain specific information about every record in the table then we have a record a record also called a row so as we just as i told you there are uh, columns and there are rows columns are actually fields and rows are also called records so is each individual entry that exists in the table for example there are 91 records in the above table right we have seen and a column is a vertical entity in the table that contains all information associated with specific field in the table okay so this was um, our like you can say first video about uh, sql i hope you have uh, understood the concept uh, purpose of this video was to tell you uh, what is SQL and uh, we have seen one query like this is the structure or syntax we will go into detail in upcoming videos but uh, this is sort of just one uh, SQL query which we have seen right so I hope uh, 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 this uh, video was beneficial for you please subscribe our channel uh, and uh, come back to watch more videos on SQL and also share with us your friends and colleagues sure so I'll be now uh, saying you bye I'll be back soon inshallah take care Allah Hafiz.